Lala, we found the rocks. So we have a few options. Okay, we're here, the boulders are here. We gotta pick one out. Um, it's not exactly what I was looking for. I don't see anything that I was looking for. I was looking for something really jagged, a lot of edges, a lot of ridges, a lot of holes, a lot of imperfections, but I see a lot of smooth edges. So what do we do? Should we go with this black thing? I could cut this up into pieces and do something pretty iconic with this. Huh. Or maybe some from here. Dude, we're just gonna go with these. I don't wanna go too crazy with the big ones because it's not even something I wanna use, but I'm gonna go ahead and take some of my time, pick some out, and uh, yeah, I'll show you on the way. Ooh, interesting. Here is actually one of my favorite plants. It's a rubber plant. We're doing a little detour. Almond tree is cute, but I'm kind of over almond tree. We're trying new things. We are no longer where we were before. We're at Aquarium Adventure. Um, I really tried to go to the garden center and find what I was looking for. Um, it really wasn't successful, but I found this. These are pretty cool. Ugh, can't wait to pop those in. And then got some of these. Let me see if I can show you a little bit. Anyways, Gollum, bye! I mean, oops. <laughs> the guppies are probably like, what is going on? And then this one's actually a bulb. I'm super stoked about this one. Look at that, that's so cool. That's gonna be very interesting. Get in there, dude. Get in there. Okay. Um, we have a floater. All right. <laughs> Anyways, Chicago's doing fantastic. Got a little bit of algae going on over here um, on the moss. I think it's Christmas moss, I'm not sure, whatever. Uh, but what we go do are doing fantastic wherever they are. Here they are. Hey guys. One, two, and where's number three? Number three's in there somewhere. These guys are doing phenomenal. Hmm. Anyways, got some babies in here. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, there they go. Little, little babies. I'm gonna zone out. You can just keep filming, but I'm gonna start removing like all the top water floaters and then the logs, the mosses, hang that filter, heater, and then the fish. Oh, all right, so Tiffany's actually wearing a pirate costume Walk because we're doing an entire like pirate scape and whatnot, so Arr. it's kind of fitting. I'm actually gonna do these with my hand because I try to do them with the net and the guppies are so friendly that I can't help but not grab them, so. So you're gonna be taking this tank apart, taking the guppies out, uh -huh. and what are you gonna put in it? Um, okay, so I'm actually doing a scape for a betta, but it's gonna be a female betta. Ooh, that sounds cool. Yeah, I've actually had this bed up for a few months now, and it's been upstairs in the guest bedroom in a viral bed I have. It's like, I think it's like seven gallons, but it deserves a proper scape here at the altar. I'm kidding, this is not the altar. Don't put that in. Here's our other beta. That's Chicago. Just options 
right now. We're not sure that this is what we're gonna go with. Okay, we're gonna be using some of this substrate right here. Let me show you what it looks like. I'm gonna use some white sand, for sure, for sure. So I actually found these at a very good bench here in Hoffman Estates. piece right here has a little bit of history. This was the piece that I used on my first fish bowl. I was gonna say aquarium, but no. It was it was on my fit on the first fish bowl and got it at PetSmart. You could tell that it's been in an aquarium for quite some time, but this is definitely what we're using. I want to change it a little bit um, so it doesn't look so basic and make it look a little bit more natural. The gemstones right here, all that's gotta go. We can either use the wood and we can use the rocks. Can we use the rocks? Can we use the wood? Can we use the wood? Not the rocks. This was the second escape that I did. See, there's a goby here. And then if you follow my scissors, there's a goby right there. And then there's another one right there. Anyways, I just wanted to make sure they're not in the way. and I've used it for like three escapes. Isn't that insane?
do some improvising. I ran out of sand, the white one. It wasn't supposed to have the little pebbles right there, but I think it worked out pretty good. This is a perfect example. Work with what you have. A lot of the stuff in here is like leftovers from other scapes, see? Anyways, I have this piece left over and I'm supposed to put it on the top. Let me show you. But like, I might keep it out, I don't know. I'm gonna put it on the shelf first and then we'll all right, so we're gonna put this in here. This is the styrofoam, like leveling mats. So we're gonna put the leveling mat there. I'm sure it's gonna move around when I put it in, but let's try to do this. All right. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. It's a lot of weight to move. Oh my god, I'm sweating from this. Like my head, my head is like warm. Oh my God. Oh my God. That was crazy. Okay. It looks good in the rack though. And now for the final piece. Drum roll, please. Let's see if I can put this in without destroying everything. Cap test. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good. We're good! And there you have it. That's the love of water. made with the what is it Christmas moss I think it might be Christmas or weeping I'm not 100% sure sound off in the comments down below if you know which one it is but but I put them in every little crevice just to kind of soften up the corners this is gonna be one of those scapes that we have to wait for it to grow in to truly see its beauty <laughs>
Like a light lighting up in the dark. You make it right. I forgot how to act. It's so classic. Every time you make me nervous and I lose my words. It's been a while since I forgot the most simple words. Alright guys, it's day five and everything seems to be going really, really well. We're going to do the first water change. I'm going to take out some of the sand because I put too much in. But everything is doing amazing. All of the plants seem to be really happy. Bloom is just being Bloom. I've had her for like two months. She's amazing. Anyways, uh, let's get this party on the road. Got my trusty dusty bag. 